Hi guys, in this video we're going to introduce enzymes, look at the structure of enzymes, the stereospecificity of enzymes, inhibition, computer modelling of enzymes, and then finally we're going to summarise. So you've probably heard of enzymes in biology as things that carry out tasks in the body. But enzymes really are just biological catalysts. They increase the rate of biological reactions. This diagram shows a model of an enzyme interacting with a biological reactant to try and carry out the reaction. Enzymes can in fact speed up reactions by 10 to the 10 times. So that is a huge number. It's 1 with 10 zeros after it. And to put that in proportion, reactions that happen in one second with enzymes would take up to 300 years to happen if the enzyme was not present. This has allowed intelligent life forms to develop because the types of reaction that need to happen in our body can happen a lot quicker. So we've talked about enzymes as catalysts, but physically, what are enzymes? Enzymes are usually globular proteins, which means they're clusters of protein molecules. The catalytic activity of the enzyme occurs at the active site. So in the diagram here, the active site is shown at the top. This is where the enzyme interacts with the chemicals in the reaction it's speeding up. The lock and key hypothesis of enzyme activity says that the reactants must fit exactly into the active site. So we consider the active site as a sort of hole in the protein that we have reactants fitting into perfectly and reacting, which is why we use the analogy of a lock and key. In reality, however, enzymes are more complex than this. The substrate, which is what we call the chemical that is being forced to react by the enzyme, fits into the active site and bonds temporarily with the enzyme through intermolecular forces. During this bonding, there's a movement of electrons within the substrate, remember the thing that's reacting, and this lowers activation energy for the reaction. So it's not just a case of it fitting in and holding in place, the enzyme actually bonds to it and changes the structure of the reactant. Even if the lock and key model is not entirely correct, it's useful because it shows us the idea that only correctly shaped substrates will fit in to the active site of an enzyme, and this is because the temporary bonds that form in reality. Hey guys. To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise, exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, just click the snap revised smiley face here. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.